In this demo, I'll share with you how Databricks makes it super simple to explore and govern your data and then make sense of your data using Genie. First, we'll start with the admin perspective of permissioning the data and then creating the Genie space. Then we'll move on to the user's perspective of searching for data and then using the Genie space. We'll start in the Catalog Explorer, where data is organized into catalogs, schemas, and tables. Here's our Fabricon catalog, which contains airline data, and I can grant permissions to users or groups of users to access my catalog. Access controls in Unity Catalog ensures that users can only see the data that they're allowed to. At the schema level, we can control access to everything inside as well. The flights table has its own permissions. And similarly, I can grant or revoke specific privileges to certain users or groups of users. Inside the flights table, Databricks automatically generates column descriptions and table summaries. This makes it really easy to understand the structure of the data without needing any external documentation. Databricks also visualizes table relationships. This diagram shows primary and foreign key constraints, helping teams quickly understand how tables are connected. With data lineage, we can trace where the data comes from, how it's transformed, and where it's used in other tables, notebooks, workflows, and more. This lineage graph shows exactly how the flights table is connected to upstream and downstream data sets. Now, let's create a genie space to explore this data. I'll create a genie space from the flights table. Give the genie space a name and a good description so other, others know how to use it. Make sure you're using a serverless warehouse as well. From here, you can start adding more tables registered in Unity Catalog, like our airports table and our lookup codes table. Our genie space is ready for other users to get answers to their questions about their data. Now, let's see everything from the perspective of a user or consumer of the data. I'd like to find data about flights. And so I'll use the semantic search to do this using natural language. Databricks reveals all tables, notebooks, files, queries, and any other data and AI assets relevant to my search. As you can see, I have approved access to the flights table so I can view its data. Now let's check the transactions table. Since I don't have permission, I can see the general schema of the table, but I'm denied access to view the actual table data. This is role-based security at the table level. Now I'd like to get some more information about how our airlines and flights are performing, but I'm not skilled in SQL at all. Thanks to Genie, I don't have to worry. I can get insight about my data just by having a conversation using natural language. Genie responds with not only the table names, but the description of the tables and their relationships with one another. Genie does this by leveraging table metadata. Let's find out more from Genie. So Genie returns a table but it looks like the unique carrier code doesn't really tell me which airline. So let me go ahead and join this with the lookups table so I'll be able to see the actual airline name. And just like that, Genie is able to give me the airlines that have the most flight delays. I can take it a step further by visualizing the results as a bar chart. And I can even further clarify what I need to Genie. In seconds, Genie generates a visualization, making it really easy to spot trends without writing a single line of SQL. As you can see, with Databricks, teams can access, access, explore, and govern data more efficiently, all while getting immediate answers to all of your questions. Thank <laughs> you.